Hi, welcome to the video. And today I'm going to share how you can make over a hundred dollars a day in truly passive income. This isn't the type where you have to do a lot of work up front and then the income eventually tapers off. This is actually a hundred dollars a day that you can make doing literally nothing. And it's through a means called liquidity mining. Here you can see that if you were to put $40,000 into this liquidity pool that gives a 90% return every year, you would be making $36,000 over the year or just about $100 a day. If you only have $500, that's okay too. You would still be getting $450 back at the end of the year and this is truly passive income. But what's the catch, you might ask? In this video, we are going to dive into exactly what liquidity mining is, how much you can make, and also the risks associated with it. This is something I've been hesitant to share because it is one of the riskier investing vehicles, but I've been testing it for over a month now and I've seen good enough returns. And I wanna share with you so you can have the knowledge to weigh the risks and rewards and decide for yourself if it's a good idea. But without further ado, let's dive right in. I liquidity mine on this website called cake so i'll be using their platform as i explain what exactly this is they aren't the only company or platform that does this but i like their project and i like their ui the first term you need to know is dex which stands for a decentralized exchange to put it in simpler terms we the people are able to swap and trade currencies without the presence of a large third party like a bank or a financial institution what makes a dex special is now that when someone makes a trade instead of chase or td ameritrade taking the fee we the people now can take the fee every individual person can participate in banking and lending out their money the reason we needed these large institutions originally was providing the service of keeping track of the transaction of securing the transaction but through the power of crypto which is basically the power of code we can now send money directly to each other and it's kept track of within the ledger or the code uh, depending on what type of currency you're trading. That is the power of technology. Now, a very popular form of lending out money is called staking. What staking is, is it's kind of like a crypto saving account. You agree not to touch it for a certain amount of time. You just leave it in your wallet and you get a return. But what makes it different from a regular savings account is just leaving your cryptocurrency there actually helps support the security and operations of the blockchain network. It's a little bit similar to mining in which it helps a network achieve consensus aka validate all the transactions that's happening making sure they're valid and correct and by helping protect and validate the network you will get rewarded in the form of more crypto so the more cryptocurrency you stake the more returns you get with staking we see returns from two percent all the way up to nine or ten percent depending on what type of crypto you are staking now what liquidity mining is is instead of staking one coin, you are essentially staking pairs of coins. This provides liquidity to traders who want to trade between these two coins. So imagine this DEX or decentralized exchange where we're trading crypto as that little kiosk at the airport that lets you exchange one country's money for another. This kiosk has no paper money right now. Now you come in and you have US dollars and Euro. You can lend your money to this airport exchange kiosk. And now when someone wants to trade their, let's say USD for Euro or Euro for USD, that kiosk uses your money to facilitate that exchange. But this service isn't free. If you've ever been to one of these kiosks and handed them $100 US and expecting to get a certain amount out based on what you researched on Google, you'll see that the amount you get from this kiosk is always less than the actual exchange rate. And that's because they are taking a big fat cut. But with the power of a decentralized exchange, remember, there is no need for that big overhead, that big fat middleman. Now you, as the lender, actually take that cut every time someone else exchanges their money or crypto using what you lent out. You get the cut now. Another thing that makes this very different from an airport kiosk is that the exchange fees are much lower. Now there still is a fee to support the platform or the decks you're using, but it is significantly lower. On the decks I use, it's just about 
0.2% every time I want to swap one crypto for another. At the airport kiosk, these fees are usually full percentage points, sometimes up to the point where it feels like a scam. But if the fee is so low, how do we make the return we do like 90%? That seems way too high. This comes down to volume. Here we can see my personal wallet, and this is also the interface with the DEX, but we can see every single instance where someone is making a trade and the subsequent rewards I am receiving. This is another pro of cryptocurrency and DEXs is the full transparency. Even though we're not making much per transaction, you can see I'm just making fractional numbers of this crypto, the sheer number of transactions add up to a very juicy reward. And that's what liquidity mining is. But what are the risks? Number one, we as the lenders get paid in this crypto, not cash. So even though DeFi chain is worth roughly $3.50 right now, it could drop to $2 or $1. And my return would essentially be slashed in half or more. And number two, this is most important and this is the greatest risk. It's something called impermanence loss. When you add to a pool, you can't just put in $100 of Bitcoin and $1,000 of DeFi chain. There has to be a one-to-one -one value of the pair of cryptos you're putting in. If there's too much of one type of currency, that just wouldn't work because when someone wants to make a trade, they are expecting to get the same value back. What this means for liquidity pool is though that they always have to maintain their balance of the pairs as close to one-to-one -one in value as possible. Not the number of coins because one Bitcoin is worth way more than one DeFi chain, but the value of the coins. This results in constant fluctuations of the amount of crypto on each side. So if the value of DeFi chain were to drop, the subsequent value of your Bitcoin in that liquidity pool could also drop. And that's the risk. There's always inherent risks of crypto dropping. That's nothing new. But oftentimes for these high yield liquidity mining pools, your BTC is paired with a relatively young altcoin. DeFi chain is an altcoin and there's always a chance it could tank. If it were to tank, my initial investment could drop a lot because the amount of Bitcoin I have could literally be taken away to match the decreasing value of the DeFi chain to keep the pool one to one. I want to repeat, what you put in initially could be very different from what you take out, but this only happens or is realized when you take it out. The pool pairs are constantly fluctuating and some days I even had more Bitcoin than I started because the DeFi chain coin was actually growing faster than Bitcoin. So it's not all bad and your losses aren't all permanent unless you withdraw, but there are a lot of variables and hence more risk. At a 90% return, my goal is to liquidity mine for a year and convert all of my DeFi chain tokens into Bitcoin. That way, even if this pool tanks somehow, I have already made a majority of my Bitcoin back and everything else would just be a bonus or uh, liquidity mining on house money. Here's the DEX, which would need a whole separate video to explain, but basically this is where I can convert my tokens. Uh, from here, I send it back to the Cake website and then from the Cake website, I can send it to BlockFi or Coinbase, where my main wallets that I trust just a bit more to hold a majority of my crypto positions. So how much money have I made liquidity mining? Here you can see my liquidity pairs. I have both BTC DFI pair and also ETH DFI pair. It's not really accurate to look at the, the cash value because the cryptocurrency market is going crazy right now. I almost hit $15,000 right now. It's at a low. But what is more accurate is to look at the amount of DFI tokens or coins that I actually mined. So I started mining with this full amount. It's been about five to six weeks. I want to say, let's just say six weeks and, and be conservative. And over six weeks, I've mined 167 DFI coins. So let's see what that turns out to be. Uh, what's the current market value of DeFi chain token? And remember what I said, the, your return is very dependent on this token. Right now, it's at 366. So we'll just do 267 times 3.66. My return 
is $977 as of today based on the current market value of the DFI chain token. So if we extrapolate uh, six weeks to the rest of the year, uh, my total return would be $8,469, which is not quite a 100% return, but it's still an 80-90% return, and that's from a $10,000 investment. Remember, if the value of DeFi chain coin were to drop, my return would be less, but at the same time, D DeFi chain actually hit uh, as high as $4.80, and at that time, my return was way over 100%, probably 110-120%. It's always going to be dependent on how you're receiving your rewards i'm going to be making a separate video about this website i think it deserves one in this video i really wanted to just explain liquidity pool mining in summary liquidity mining is a great way to get passive income but it does come with the risk that your initial investment could fluctuate you should liquidity mine a crypto that you see a future in that isn't too small of a market cap that it could tank to zero there are some insane pools that are giving out returns of over a thousand percent yes they exist but the higher the return the higher the risk the cake DeFi project hits that sweet spot for me where it's just big enough that i don't think it'll fail but still young enough that it's giving good returns please please do your own due diligence when it comes to this stuff no investment is completely safe but you'll never be able to free yourself from the rat race without risk i've added a referral link below in case you are interested in signing up uh, with cake DeFi. we'll both get some free coins if you use that link but no pressure and i highly recommend you do more research go watch their official youtube videos which i will link below before you make any decisions please consider liking and subscribing if that was helpful at all. In this channel, I break stock news and I try to find the best investing opportunities to share with you and new ways to make passive income, build wealth, and achieve financial independence. This is Green Knight Trading, where squires become knights. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you soon.